Good morning, ASD. It's a great day to be a Falcon. I'm Hamza Jelani. And I'm Dorian Krohn. Welcome to Falcon Flyby, our first edition of the year. In today's show, we'll catch up with our SJ president and learn about his hopes for this year. Meet the real Mrs. Gerst and find out why she's such an amazing teacher. Plus sports with Aria and other news you can use. Falcon, Falcon Flyby, Flyby starts, starts now. now. For our top story, producer Duncan McWilliams takes us behind the scenes of SGA, our Student Government Association. SGA embodies the ideas of our opinions of all members of ASD. They also promote a healthy school culture of our core values, compassion, excellence, integrity, respect, and responsibility. Duncan talked to our SGA president, Burke Ergoz. Hello fellow Falcons. Today we're going to be digging into the well-known student organization, the SGA. We will be interviewing the president of the club, Burke. Uh, hello, I'm Duncan McWilliams, and we are here with what? Burke Ergoz, yes. Yes, uh, the uh, president of the SGA. What is your, um, one of your f most favorite events to host, be a part of? I'd say um, consistently one of my favorite events or just days of the year has been UCC, the ultimate class competition. Um, I remember back when I was a freshman, my first year, um, me and the other freshman rep, we were, we were very confused about what um, UCC was going to look like. We were very worried that our grade wasn't going to be um, participating, I guess. We, they weren't going to be excited about it. Um, but we found that on the day of, everything just sort of clicked and um, it, was, it was so much fun. Our grade had the best time and we really came together. And I feel as though that has remained um, the same every single year where it's just consistently regardless of how you feel about it beforehand, it's just the actual event is so much fun and every grade um, grows closer as a result. Okay, so um, what do you, do you think, the, why do you think the SGA is important for ASD as a community? That's definitely a very good question. I'd say that um, the role of the SGA is to help bring um, the community, especially with students, um, closer together and just to make school more fun for everybody. Because right now, um, or especially at the, towards the end of last year, it just felt like there was a lot, a huge decline in spirit. And it felt as though a lot of people were just dreading coming to school for whatever reason. And I feel as though the SGA's role is to try and make it so that school is more enjoyable for everyone, so that you wake up in the morning and you want to go to school. And um, I think a big part of that is that um, the SGA gets to work directly with administration and with students um, because there can be a disconnect between the two where it feels as though the administration or the faculty or one group and the students are another group and they never get to interact um, beyond um, teachers and students in a classroom. And so what's nice about the SGA is that we can try and bring the two groups together. And um, so on events like Homecoming, UCC, and Mr. ASD, to help um, foster that sense of community and just create something that's fun for everybody. Yes. So uh, it's been lovely having you. Well, thank Don't you for having you me. Anymore. Yeah. You know, I'll let you go back to your lunch. Yes, have, uh, thank nice you so day. much. Yep. Mrs. Gerst opened her fifth year at ASD. She's a popular teacher and it's easy to say why. During her tenure, she has built one of the top choral programs in the Middle East. Her award-winning choirs always place near the top in international competitions and her student concerts pack the theater. We know Mrs. Gerst is a teacher, but what about her personal side? Producer Leila Zaki takes us backstage. Hello everyone. My name is Salho, and I'm a student here at the American School of Dubai. Right now, we're going into the high school choir room. ASD's choir is one of the best choirs in the Middle East, and most of the success should be given to Mrs. Gerst. Not only is she an amazing and revolutionary teacher, but she's a wonderful and great person to be around in general. Hi, Mrs. Gerst, how are you? Awesome, thanks. So my first question is, how was your, what was your first day at ASD like? First day I came on the ASD campus, I walked on with my husband and my two children, and it was one of the opening 
um, teacher days and I looked around and I looked at my husband and I said, we are never going to move back to Iowa. <laughs> so what made you want to become a musician? So singing was really important to me um, from a young age and um, I took piano lessons from second grade on and um, so I knew I had a passion for music and I had a talent and um, starting to go to honor choirs and making all state choir when I was in high school, um, it was something that I found that I was, I was good at and I loved. So why did you decide to become a teacher and when in your life did, you, did it occur to you that you wanted to be a teacher? When I was in high school, you know, I, I, love, I love helping other people, I'm a people person and I, I was really dabbling between do I want to be a teacher, specifically a music teacher because I love music, or possibly a pediatrician. And I just decided that science wasn't for me and um, music was definitely the route to go. This I feel like I have the best job ever. That's Now for the hard one. Mm -hmm. So tell us about a time in your life where you had to navigate through a storm. How did you get through it? And what life lessons can you share with us? Right, you know, I think all of us go through storms in life and I try to put myself in the eyes of a high school student. And I can remember a time in high school that was really tough for me. Um, I, being a musician, uh, making all state choir was incredibly important to me and I made it as a freshman, which is something that doesn't always happen in yeah. school. But then my senior year, I was auditioning and I didn't make it. And it was devastating. I mean, it was my life. It was going to be my major. And I think for me, my high school choir director really helped me through that because he reminded me it was just one judge that day that decided I, that I, I wasn't making the ensemble and it broke my heart really at the time but now looking back on it i think it makes me a better teacher i have persevered i understand that rejection and unfortunately in the music world and in the the, the performing arts there there is that factor of rejection because some some panels might ch not choose you for a certain role or um, to perform in a certain gig or whatever and and so i feel that it's it's really made me a better teacher in the fact that i understand that rejection which we face not only in the arts but just in life i mean we're not going to get every job we apply for and so um it's rising above and how you how you do rise above that makes you the person you are today <laughs> you truly are an amazing teacher thank Aww, you Ms. you're so sweet good job you were great October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and ASD is sponsoring a number of activities to support the Al Jalila Foundation. This Sunday, after school from 3.30 to 4.30, join the fun run. Wear pink socks and hit the track. The suggested donation is 10 dirhams. Next Thursday is a school-wide pink day, so wear your support. Our new campus physician, Dr. Omaima, shares her perspective on this important campaign. My name is Dr. Omaima Ataya. I'm the new school physician at ASD and I'm a pediatrician. Yeah, October is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month and it's a time period where we can actually join annually um, as an international community to raise uh, awareness about breast cancer. The idea is to teach and educate people about how they can uh, be empowered about their own health and um, knowing about the importance of uh, early detection of breast cancer. Finding breast cancer in a localized stage is much better and easier to treat and has a better prognosis than waiting until it spreads. This is the message we're trying to send. Um, the most uh, dangerous myth out there is that um, breast cancer uh, only affects women because only women have breasts, but actually men also have breast tissue, um, nipples and areola, which can uh, develop into breast cancer. Um, unfortunately, the mortality risk it carries in men is a lot higher, and that's because a lot of men don't uh, don't know that they can get breast cancer, so if they feel a lump in their breast, they tend to wait before they seek treatment. Well, I hope that the community can get involved in the initiatives that we're uh, having this month. We're trying to uh, use this opportunity to educate all the women and men on the campus and their parents and families about the importance of doing uh, monthly uh, breast self-exams. And we also um, are welcoming donations that, which will be collected by the Al Jalila Foundation ultimately and um, 
channel towards uh, breast cancer research and education. Um, again, if we can find the disease in its earliest localized stages, our five-year survival is 100%. So early detection uh, actually um, has an excellent prognosis. It's time for Falcon Sports with our very own sports anchor, Arya Razavi. Arya, welcome to the team. Hey Falcons, it's Arya Razavi here for the sports section of the Falcon Flyby, and we're going to go over some scores of our sports teams this season. Starting with our varsity boys volleyball team, who have opened outstandingly strong with their amazing win at DAA in the Fall Classic game. Congratulations Falcons, and keep, keep the good work coming. Next is our varsity girls volleyball. They had a strong start, but it slipped up towards the end, but they're not going to let that affect the season. They're, they're going for the big win in the game in Abu Dhabi on Monday. Be there and watch it. Next is in swimming. Our swim team has had an amazing start to the season with a huge opening at the Nancy Crosser uh, swim meet with DAA last week. I'd like to give a congratulations to our JV boys and girls volleyball team for having an undefeated season. Congratulations, Falcons. Next in golf is John Osgell and Lila Agabi, who have shot the lower rounds at the DAA Invitational. Congratulations. Today we got the chance to interview a great friend, classmate, and athlete, Lance LaRue, about varsity volleyball and how the season has been going so far. Let's get to it. My name is Arya Zavi and we're here for the sports section of uh, the Falcon Flyby. Uh, what's your name in grade? My name is Lance LaRue. I'm in grade 11. Uh, what sport do you play here at ASD? Varsity Volleyball. How long have you been playing volleyball at ASD? Um, I've been playing volleyball since 8th grade. So you can do the math, that's three years. I've, I've had a great time, I've developed a lot. We have a great coach, great staff, great team, love it. What are some of your goals for the season and what are some challenges that you guys have faced so far in the season? So um, yesterday we had a tournament. Um, we faced a few teams, very solid teams. We faced one team from Saudi. Um, my friend Alex Barreira goes there. Um, it was it's intense. It's hard. <laughs> we versed ACS DAA, a Riyadh team, and it was a, it was fun. We had a great time. Got to try out different lineups. I feel like it's gonna be a great season, and there's only more room for improvement. That sounds great. I'm glad that you guys had a good tournament this weekend. Thank you. So our final question is, uh, how do you think you can improve in the season and what are some things that you think you can do better to contribute to your team? Um, I feel like we are a team and we all have to contribute for, um, to grow. And I feel like the most important thing in a volleyball team is having team chemistry. And if you don't have chemistry on your team, you're not going to get far. And I feel like we're just trying to figure out how we want to run our plays, how we want to mess around, and how we want to mess up these other teams. Let's go, Falcons. Thank you very much. That was our great <laughs> Thank you, and back to you in the studio. In other news, now it's time to pre-order your yearbook. A special promotion is going on through October 31st. The cost is 275 dirhams ordered directly from Johnston's website. The special promotion includes four free icons and a personal name. Seniors, on Sunday, Loyola Colleges are coming to ASD. That's Loyola Marymount and Loyola Chicago. Then on Tuesday, check out Scripps College. Step into the counseling office for a complete schedule of university visits. Next Friday is the Fall Harvest Festival. Consider dropping your favorite teacher in the dunk tank or locking one in a dark dungeon. <laughs> Smile! Next week is School Portraits. Check the bulletin for upcoming details. That's it for today's show, but we leave you with the start of a new tradition, the Falcon Photo Feed. Use your social media apps to send us photos of campus life. For Twitter or Instagram, simply hashtag Falcon Flyby. And for Snapchat, add Falcon Flyby as a friend and send us your photos. Each week, we'll feature your photos in the feed. Today's feed carries the sweet sounds of Mrs. Gersh's choir room. For the crew here at Studio F, make it a great day. Bye.
Good morning, ASD. Good morning, ASD. Good morning, ASD. We are meant. We meant to be that cringy, you know. Of course. That was, we we're doing it ironically. Yes. Day. Bye. I did a weird hand thing at the end. I'm sorry. Goodbye. <laughs>